hello guys welcome to the opl lab video series so today we will learn about complex number okay so we'll do the program for complex number so first of all we'll see the problem statement so here implement a class complex which represents the complex number data type so you have to implement the following operations first that is you have to define a default constructor which will create the complex number 0 plus 0 i then you have to overload your operator that is plus to add to complex numbers then you have to overload your multiplication operator to multiply to complex numbers and then finally you have to overload insertion operator and extraction operator to print and read complex numbers okay so this four things we have to do in this program so first of all we'll see the class diagram and algorithm for this program so we can see the class diagram can be drawn in this way so first of all we'll give the name to our class that is complex then we'll declare two variables member variables of private type that is real and imaginary because we know that complex number is a is a nothing but a collection of real and imaginary numbers so it is having two parts real and imaginary part so for real part we'll declare real variable and for imaginary we'll declare IMG variable then we need some friend functions and we need member functions here so as per our statement we need default constructor where we are going to initialize the member variable with value 0 okay so real and IMG will be initialized with 0 value in this default constructor first then we need a friend function that is operator function we, are to, we want to overload the extraction operator okay so for this we need uh, we have to uh, declare a friend function which will have the return type i stream and which will pass the two parameters that is i stream reference and complex class reference because here we are going to take the input of real and EM, uh, img variable so that we can do with the help of okay as it is not a member function of your uh, complex class it's a member of i stream class but we have to use it in our complex class we we, are, we have to we want to give the permission to this class to this uh, function to access the uh, real and img variable here so because of that we are passing complex class reference here again to in order to give the access to our complex class okay so in that we are taking uh, variable inputs with the help of i stream object and we are going to return the i stream object finally then we are going to define the function for insertion operator here again it will have the ostream uh, reference uh, as the return type and then ostream reference as a parameter and then uh, complex uh, reference as a parameter so it should be but it should be const here uh, we have to use const modifier because we don't want to change the uh, values here because we are going to just uh, print the values here so we are going to do what there we are we, are, we will access the values of member variables by using o stream objects and then we'll return the o stream object finally okay then for third uh, thing that we want to do, do that is we have to define an operator function again for addition operation okay so we'll use the return type complex because it is a member function and it will return finally a complex number means uh, addition of two complex numbers so we need complex return type here and then operator keyword plus and then we'll pass one parameter that is complex parameter now uh, complex class uh, reference here we have to pass a uh, parameter we have to pass because we want to add complex number there okay then we want okay so we'll do what in this class in this class we'll create first a temporary object of complex class and then we'll add the real part of both complex numbers then we'll add imaginary part of both complex numbers and we'll finally we'll return the object here okay the same thing we'll do in the next function uh, for multiplication that we will create temporary object of complex class they will do the we'll perform the multiplication and we'll return the object okay so this is about your class diagram here we'll do all these things and finally in the main function we'll create the four object of a complex class okay and then we'll take the input of first complex number then second complex number and then we'll add these two complex numbers and we'll uh, store the result into third object so at this time we'll, we are going to call this operator function this overloaded function here okay so at this time input for this input and input we are going to call this uh, it is implicitly called 
this extraction operator overload function okay then we'll display the addition at that time it will uh, invoke this operator function which is defined for insertion operator and then after that we will uh, multiply the uh, both objects and store their result into fourth object and we'll do after that we'll display the multiplication that type this in, uh, this insertion operator function will be called and this operator function multiplication operator function will be called okay so now we'll write the code so i'll use code blocks id so i already created a project and in that i have created the file already so i'll according to our class diagram i will give the complex class name and in this i'll use the double data type and i will use real and i'll use img variable here i'll declare these two okay so after that i will use public keyword public specifier because we know that member function should be public okay so here first of all our task is to define a, a default constructor so default constructor is doing what default constructor initializes it initializes all the objects with the same value here okay so i want to initialize real with zero value and img with zero value okay so both the, the first thing i have implemented here i done i have done here with the pop constructor here default constructor then we want to overload the operator okay uh, that is insertion operator and extraction operator so we'll declare them as a friend function here because they are not the member of our complex class so friend i stream and person operator extraction operator then i stream reference again comma your complex class reference okay semicolon then the same thing i will copy and paste here it here okay same function signature i will copy and paste just i will replace this i stream with more stream and this extraction operator with insertion operator and this i stream with o stream just one thing change we have to do here in the second parameter there we have to use const type modifier you know uh, we don't want to change the uh, output here okay we don't want to change the values of that uh, uh, complex number here because we want to just print print uh, in this function so we'll use const uh, keyword here okay type modifier here then we'll uh, go for next function okay so we'll, uh, uh, now we'll define okay we, now we'll define the uh, operator function for addition and multiplication operation so that we will define inside the class as well okay so i'll write directly the return type that is complex and the symbol of uh, then keyword operator then symbol plus and inside this i'll write complex okay so here i will use c okay i'll create I'll declare a, i'll create a c object and then inside this function we have to perform the addition of two complex numbers okay so i'll do what here okay i'll do one thing okay mm, i'll display here one minute we'll do one thing we'll declare it here for, for only so that you can understand okay so again i will do what the next will will first uh, complete the class definition okay so operator multiplication and then again complex semicolon okay so we have done the declaration we have done everything here okay right from the input output and uh, our plus and multiplication okay so that is addition and multiplication operators that we want to overload here that all functions we have declared here okay now we'll go for a function definition outside the class but before that first outside the class we will be able to define first our input function okay that is extract extraction operator function so i'll use i stream ampersand that is i stream class reference as a return type here then operator keyword an extraction operator in back in i stream ampersand its object i will use here the comma i'll use complex ampersand and then c okay so in this function definition okay so in this function definition we'll do the uh, input okay so 
input function this is for input this is for output okay this is for addition and this is for multiplication okay so we'll do first for input now no i will first display this enter real and imaginary part of first complex number okay so we'll do that first and after that we'll, we'll, we can use d in here so with the help of d in we can take okay we can take uh, c object here and we can access real then c dot img okay so that we can and then return d in so remember here you have to use this d in object that is passed already and this d in can be used same as like c in and then we have to use extraction operator then you have to access the real part with the help of object name and dot operator so object is already passed here c so c dot real we can use and then extraction operator c dot img and then you have to return this d in because it's a i stream object so that we have to return here because we have already used i stream as a return type okay so one minute i will do I'll comment out it here okay that that is not necessary here okay so after that the next thing i want to do that is i want to define the next function for output so that again again i will copy and paste the code and i replace this i stream with more stream and this insertion, uh, extraction operator with insertion operator this i stream with more stream and this t in with d out okay the same remaining thing will will happen here and i will use here cp okay so this time i will do what i'll just replace this d in with d out okay and this c p okay this, okay so i'll access first real number with the help of object name and dot operator because already that uh, object has been passed there of complex type so i can use in uh, here because i can directly access it because uh, Mm, now it's a member it's a friend function okay it's as it is a friend function it can access the uh, members of your class okay so c dot img but in between this we will display plus symbol and then after this imaginary part will display i and then enter okay so this way we can do the output okay we can take the output now here i have access the d uh, with the help of d out object i have used insertion operator then uh, then we have used cp object and with the help of cp object we have access real part and img part okay here cp is missing okay cp and in between that we have just printed plus and i in order to get in the format of complex number okay so now here we'll return the out because finally we are having uh, we have used uh, OStream class here so we have to return the value here that is the out okay the out object we will return here okay so after that we have to define next function that is operator plus so it's having a return type of complex it's having a class name complex because it's a member function and use operator plus okay so in this function only one parameter is required so i'll use complex and i'll use here suppose c1 okay i'll create c1 object here so that it can hold the address of it can pass the object okay so instead of this function we have to perform the addition of two complex numbers so already we are going to take uh, the input of two complex numbers by calling this this function that is operator insertion operator function oh sorry extraction operator function that will get and then we can access it here okay so here the, what is the algorithm that we have discussed that is inside this function first of all we have to you have to create a temporary object so i use temporary object first okay so with this temporary object i will access real part and i'll 
assign the operation that is I'll uh, first of I will access the real okay so real value real uh, value of uh, real member of current calling object so real plus c1 dot real so what is what has uh, I have done here so this real is pointing or this real is using the current calling objects member okay and this real is now of the c1 object so this will c1 will give the second complex number and this will be of first complex number and this will be a temporary complex numbers real part where it will be stored the real part okay the temp dot img is equal to img plus c1 dot img again the same thing we have done and return temp okay so this way we have completed our logic for plus operator that is addition operator okay with the help of operator overloading here okay now next function we have to define that is for multiplication so again i will use return type and class name the scope resolution operator and then again complex c2 okay object i will create c2 and now i will use i will create again a temporary object that is complex tmp okay so then tmp dot real is equal to so we we know the multiplication okay when we do the multiplication of uh, two complex numbers that time uh, we'll get the formula for real and we'll get the formula for imaginary okay so the formula will be like this so real into c2 dot real okay minus img dot c2 dot img so this this formula will get to uh, in order to get the real part of the uh, multiplication okay result then to get the img part we have to call we have to use real into c2 dot img okay plus img into c2 dot real when we when you try you can try it at home at your side also uh, you can take the two brackets or two complex numbers and just multiply it that time you'll get these things these formulas you will get for real and imaginary part okay so that we have done now okay so here we have to return the tmp object finally return tmp okay so now we have done with all the things that is all the functions we are declared the constructor has been defined and member function also has been defined now we can go for main function so in main function already we have discussed that is we have to create first complex uh, type objects so how many objects we want to create four objects we want to create because two will accept the two numbers and two will be will store the results so here i'll use cl1 comma cl2 comma cl3 comma cl4 okay these many objects that is four objects are required here that i have declared here and now i will copy i will take this statement okay which is which was by mistake i have used here but it is not useful here okay so that i will copy and paste it here so after displaying this statement i will use the in statement and i will accept with the, with the directly with the cl1 object so here the in the, uh, extraction operator function will be called okay this syntax is calling your extraction operator function okay cl1 then the same thing i will copy and paste because for i want to take again second input so i'll write enter real and imaginary part of second complex number and i'll replace with cl1 with one with cl2 okay then we have to perform the addition so i'll use third object cl3 is equal to cl1 plus cl2 this way i can do directly because of operator overloading again here my this function will be called that is operator function for addition this function will be called when i write this formula cl1 plus cl2 cl3 is equal to cl1 plus cl2 okay now the, uh, this i have to display it first okay so i'll display c out addition is equal to okay so cl3 will hold the addition yeah. 
I will display it first. Okay. Then after that we want to do multiplication. So I will use fourth object and I will use CL1 into CL2. Okay. So again it, at this time the operator function will be called this for multiplication and it will do the modification and it will return the value here. Okay. So after this I will display C out multiplication. CL4 and then end okay so CL4 will hold the multiplication and CL3 will hold the addition but before this we'll do one thing we'll display our default constructor as well so default values default complex number I'll say default complex number okay so I'll write here suppose CL1 I'll display something CL1 I will display first one one of the object I will display whether it is change, uh, initialized with the zero or not we will check it with help of program okay so we have finished okay we are done with our logic okay uh, that is input part output part Let's see whenever we run this okay this at this time also your insertion operator function is called okay at this time insertion operator function is called okay so I will compile it. What is it saying okay so here we forgot again const okay const keyword is missing because in the declaration we have used const keyword and that we have missed here again I will remove this line it is not required now here okay so that we have done here okay okay so compile it Okay, compile successfully. I'll run it now. Okay, so real and imaginary part I will enter. And one, two. Okay, now you can see oh, default complex number is 3 plus 4i. It is showing there. Okay, addition 4 plus 6i. Then multiplication 5 plus 10i. Okay, what is happening here? Okay, so I have displayed here. So because of that, it is not showing. It is showing the default constructor there. Okay. So I'll replace this with the <coughs> I'll replace with the first complex number. So I'll display first complex number. Okay, and I'll copy this same again. And I'll display here. I'll display CL2. That is second complex number here. Second complex number. We'll do that here. Okay, and the same thing we'll do here. I'll enter here I'll write here default complex number okay so with the help of CL1 I'll write it okay now we can compile and we can run we can see the output okay run it okay so default complex number is 0 plus 0i 0 0i that you can see and now it is asking for real and imaginary part of first complex number so number enter th 2 3 then 1 2 now you can see that 2 plus first complex number is 2 plus 3i and second complex number is 1 plus 2i then addition is 3 plus 5i and then multiplication is 4 plus 7i so this way you can do the uh, program c++ program for complex number where you can initialize your complex number with default values where you can take the input of uh, for your complex number by using uh, operator overloading you can overload insertion operator and extraction operators then you can perform the addition of two complex numbers and uh, multiplication of two complex numbers again by using operator overloading so this is about the assignment so if you have any if you are having any doubt in this assignment please post your comments okay ask your doubts and don't forget to share my channel videos with your friends so that they can get the update of my channel my videos okay so thank you for watching video bye bye